The traditional picture of Joseph Vaz is a replica of the painting in the National Seminary in Kandy, Sri Lanka. As a missionary, Joseph Vaz is depicted with crucifix in hand, surrounded by the sun and the moon, the mitre and the crosier placed on both sides. Crucifix He loved the cross of Jesus and wherever he went, he installed the cross. Joseph was advising his nephew, says, Consider your greatest pleasure to suffer for Christ, and with Christ your happiness to please God to be in his divine company. The crucifix given to him by Cardinal Tournon is now in oratory room of the paternal house of Joseph Vaz Sankwari, Sun and Moon. When we work, walk, and perform exterior actions, we are like the moon, which during its course is always on the run and illuminates the earth, yet never removes its gaze from the sun. Saint Joseph was exhorted to his nephew to be like moon and never ever lose sight of the light of the sun, Jesus. In his missionary journey through the forest and hills of Ceylon, St. Joseph was constantly reflected on and contemplated the sun and the moon. These two heavenly bodies became his inseparable guides and companions and so his spirituality too came to be centered on them. History also records that his father saw a star in the sky at midday when sun was born, mitre and the crosier. The mitre and the crosier are shown at a distance from Joseph Vaz because he humbly declined the proposed bisphoric of Ceylon. His hand points out to the crucifix that he holds rather than to the crosier. A supreme example of humility is that he never knows over others, in spite of being the superior. To shun the crozier and point out to Jesus speaks of the saint's humility. Oh